Okay, I'm at the education building on King Street. Talk to somebody here. And what's your name? I'm Isabel Haynes, and I'm from Bathurst, New Brunswick. Bathurst. And we got to talk a little bit loud, loud. There's a lot of noise here. Yeah, there is. But that's okay. So you met with the Minister of Education, Jody Minister Carr? Minister Jody Carr, yeah, on Wednesday. And how did that go? Um, I guess I have to say it, it went well, but not the way I expected. What you did know? you expect? Oh, well, I, I expected him to make a say yes. Uh, well, we let's say we, we have a common goal that uh, children's safety is uh, number one priority. Oh, of course. Of, of course, eh? we all want safety for our children. And um, But uh, he was concerned too with uh, cost. And, uh, you know, I feel that there's no uh, price on a child's life. And uh, when it comes to uh, student transportation, there shouldn't be, and there shouldn't be a dollar on a child's life. And I feel that um, when Mr. Uh, Jody Carr mentioned cost, um, I, I don't feel we have a, a common goal there. He mentioned cost? Yeah, he did. He did? Yeah, I feel that he's putting a, um, a price on... on uh, Kids' life. On a child's life, yeah. It, well, I, I think he's splitting between the Department of Education, where the education part is in school, and the children that travel for after-school activities. And um, he's saying that, I'm not saying that the children that go to school are more important, but I, he's saying that. I'm not, I don't think he's saying that. That's all right. No, 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 no. We're doing well. Yeah. Listen, you were, you never been involved in politics until this tragedy happened. No, no. You weren't. I, I didn't want to go in this direction. No. You, it, you were at home. Something. You were a stay-at-home mom, and you're raising your family, right? That's right. I love now, my family, and I, yeah. I just want to be a mom and not an activist and yeah. trying to change uh, policies and and uh, a law for safety for children. I didn't think I had to go to that extreme after the death of my son that I would still have to do this like three years later. Have you noticed any difference between between the two parties after you talked to Jody Carr? The difference between Is the there, was you find a difference between well, meeting uh, Roland Haché and Jody Carr? Do you find a difference? Well, um, let's say that when I spoke with Jody Carr, he didn't, I didn't feel like stressed out after I left there, you know? He, I felt relaxed. And with Roland Haché, I was a little, always a little stressed after I spoke to him. Yeah. So you felt more because I felt like he wasn't listening, and I felt maybe Jody Carr, he was listening, but you know he's still a politician. You know, there's got to be a trust building between uh, the two of us, and if it'll ever happen, I don't know. Do you think the bureaucrats are telling the minister what to do and what to say? Oh uh, well. Jody Carr has been only on this job maybe like five, six weeks now, and uh, of course he's being trained and by the bureaucrats. And uh, and hopefully when uh, he absorb all uh, the, the policies and, and the recommendation from our son's inquest that uh, he would make the right decision and say, yes, you know, we do need yellow school buses and we do need class two drivers and use only multifunctional activity vehicles for the children transporting for after school activities. And once he makes that decision, then they can work around it and say, yes, now let's form a group and how are we going to do this? This is what we're going to use, how are we going to do it? Are the, when, we, when the children go out for, for sports, that they would double up in a bus. That the junior or se senior league that are going out to Moncton, that they would travel in the same night, not in two different nights. You know, if there's a, a group coming from Dalhousie, that if they're going to Moncton also, that they would stop and pick up the bathers group that's playing there also. You know, there's different ways they can use their imagination and a solution. There's a solution to everything. You know? Have you noticed you're educating the people going inside here? They're slowing down and listening to what you got to say. That's good. Well, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, okay. Now, you you were hoping that the news conference you held on Wednesday that it would be your last one. Oh. Every, I would. I always hope it's my last one, but um, I know it's not going to be because um, um, there's so many um, red tape when it comes to government. The different steps to, for them to take any action. But you know, when they, um, when the Moncton High School um, needed to have the, 
that we're done under his hold. That's right, and the, the health and safety of the students. You know, they moved. Yeah, they moved pretty fast. Yeah, they did. Yeah. And uh, I feel that they're moving very slow on the for children for after school activities. You know, they're equal, aren't they? Students in the school, well, the children play. True. Good school. point. Yeah, and that the children, you know, that the, the sports are offered there by their school. They wear their um, jerseys representing their school, and the children are proud of it. And um, I think that the Department of Education should uh, look at it and say, yes, we're proud of our good students that do participate in after-school activities. And uh, yes, we want to keep them safe. Well, implement the last recommendation and have the class to drivers. Maybe with, maybe with the cutbacks, they'll cut all the sports and they won't have to travel. Oh, I can't see them doing that, you know, because it's part of our culture. You know, if they cut sports, I would have to say that... Um, I mustn't give the government any ideas here. Well, if they cut sports, sports, I would think that that would be um, um, uh, cruelty to the, the children. It, it, I wouldn't accept that for uh, an answer. How come something tells me we haven't seen the last of uh, Isabel Haynes? Because, uh, because um, after all what I've been through and what we've been doing, um, there's, there's still not enough... Um, there's not enough... There's, there's still no safety for the children yet. And, um, and until there is, it's not about what I want. It's what the departments of education, public safety, and transportation needs to do. And that's to implement the last recommendations to have class two drivers and yellow school bus and multi-function vehicles for the safety of the students. And that cost shouldn't be an issue. Final last word. Well done. Talk to you later.